How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and today's video we're going to talk about some advanced maneuvering and uh, functionality of ADB, specifically ADB Shell. Um, so, just so you guys understand what we're doing here, I do have a rooted device plugged into my computer, um, and we're going to access it. So, I'm in uh, Platform Tools right here, and I'm just going to hold uh, Shift and right click and hit Open a Command Window just to get an ADB Shell up and functional. Um, or an, a command window and then we're going to do ADB devices just so you guys can see that we are in fact connected to a device here um, and I just want to kind of go through some commands and some different things you can do with ADB so in the previous video and previous lesson you've probably seen some of this but it's kind of nice to see it actually live and used so let's just go ahead and expand this just so you guys can see the window properly there we go and if you're watching this on your computer, you're probably going to want to blow this up so you can see it. So um, we have ADB devices. So let's do ADB shell and um, go ahead and run that. So here you can see we have a shell. And then we can do something like uh, AL. And this is going to be like basically list everything. So uh, I'm sorry, LS. What am I doing? So there you go. You can see LS, right? So there's kind of some crazy stuff in here you can see listed. Now, what you're going to get here is you see there's all these things that are permission denied. So a lot of what you're listing when you do an AL, uh, LS, I'm sorry, um, is going to be permission denied unless you have root access. So let's go ahead and type in SU and get root access. You can see now we have the pound symbol. That means we have root access. So we're going to do LS again. Now you can see that everything's listed and we have permissions to finally view it. Um, so there's a lot of cool things you can do in here. Um, you can do a CD, which is change directory, and we can go to um, system and then do an LS again. And again, we can list what's in here. And if you want to see it in a different format, you can do an LS minus AL and hit enter. And so now you can see all of the files plus some uh, different things about read write, where they're located, and some information about dates and times, things like that. So from here, one of the things that I always like to do is um, look at my build prop. It's a great thing to identify um, files. So certain files, you can do this. It's basically you're going to cat the file. So we're going to do cat um, build.prop, enter and now you can basically view the file so let's see if i can go back up to where it starts it's just a long file just so you guys can see it okay so here's where i ran the command and here it is so you can see your build id number i mean sdk version that it was built on code names for the device i mean there's this thing's just tons of stuff so this is a zte axion 7 which is for me the uh, a2017u so just being able to cat a file, uh, specifically build prop, is very, very helpful to uh, see what's going on in here and basically identify the device, see how some of the settings and permissions and different things you want to look at. So that's what I did right there. That's just catting a file. So we can go ls again. Again, we can list it or we can do ls minus al um, if you do a space. Also, if you hit the up arrow on your keyboard, you can scroll through commands, and that makes things a lot easier. So you can see me doing that right here. Just uh, just makes it simple to uh, do stuff. So, all right. So again, we're in here. Um, if you want to look at things like um, what xbin, you can again cd xbin ls and ls minus al. And there you go. You can see what's in xbin. A lot of times, super su will be stored in there also might be stored in bin so we can do um, cd space dot dot and that'll go back one directory you can see right there so run the command again you can see what's in here so we're going to cd to bin and then do another and there we go so now this is everything that is in uh, the bin folder or yeah folder I guess you can see there is a lot in here there you go, there's the command. So one of the things you got, you're probably gonna wanna do is go up in here, in, in here, because especially if you're running things that have lots of output, is you're gonna wanna come in here and you're gonna wanna go to properties and you're gonna wanna configure some of these things um, so that you can get, it, so that it, it shows you everything and it gives you everything in there. So otherwise you'll be limited as to how many lines you have and things like that. You can see if you want, this is what my settings are set to. 
so that I get a lot of things showing up. I'll just show it to you really quickly. There you go. So that's how I've got mine set. So there's a lot of cool things in here. Let's see if we have SU. Should be in here somewhere. Unless this is a systemless route, which it might be. SU, 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 SU. Yeah, not, not in here. So normally SU binary would be in here, but if it's systemless route, it won't be because you're not changing anything in your system. And that's obviously what I've got. So it must be using just the boot image to do the route. But you can see there's a lot of things in here. Look, look, grep. So anytime you like call for certain commands, you're using these things. So like AM and PM, you'll see like commands you do with PM, if I can find it. Right here's PM. So when you do like an ADB shell PM something, 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 you're calling this bin file, this file right there. And AM, we do a lot of things with those two, like AM install or different things. So there's the AM file. So you're utilizing these files that are built into Android when you run these kind of commands. Um, like am install or am block or things like that um, you're actually utilizing these different files so there's a lot in here and a lot you can do the other thing i'd point out when you do the ls minus al is that some things like this will forward to toolbox right so that means that this file is not truly there it's like a it means it's forwarding to this point is what it is so it's not truly in this location it's almost like a a shortcut to the true location and toolbox would be your true location or toy box or you know it gives you it just gives you more information um, these things might be just showing you that they're toolbox or toy box but there's some that will point to it a new location on your device so it's it's just like a shortcut to the location so it's showing here in bin but it's really truly a shortcut so just kind of interesting um, some of the other things I can show you let's uh, let's see the out of this so we'll go back a directory Go up, go back a directory, and then we'll we'll do this again so we can see everything. And one of the things I want to show you in here that's kind of interesting for us is in data. So we're going to do cd uh, data, and just so you can see, this is just easier when you do it this way. And then we'll we'll view those files. So these are all the files inside of data. And what we want to do, and you can view any of this. You can look at whatever you want. We're going to cd to system inside of data. So cd system and then we're going to do that other command again for here and this is al minus or L, ls minus al again you can see i'm doing these things fast because i'm using the up and down arrows to scroll common commands that i'm using um so i mean this would just be exactly like looking at it in a file browser it's the same concept you're just doing it through command window through adb so what i want to point out in here specifically are these files right here these three files. These three files are your lock screen. So if you have root access on a device that has lock screen up, but for some reason you are able to get an ADB shell with root access, you can delete these files and you can remove your lock screen. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So to do that, you do something like um, RM, which is remove or delete, I guess you could say, and then lock settings dot db and then you would hit enter and it should remove that file I'm not going to do it on this device but that is basically the process you use so it's, it's kind of nice so otherwise if you want to get out of the shell we can do exit and then that, that exits the root shell and then we're in a normal shell we can exit again and we're back to your normal uh, command line so we can just do adb devices again and you can see we're connected. Now, one of the things you can do that's really nice if you have Torp Recovery installed, and this is awesome for um, root commands with ADB shell. So if you have a device that's got, it's locked up or whatever, but you have Torp, check this out. ADB Reboot Recovery. And this is going to go ahead and reboot the device to uh, recovery, whether that is um, stock recovery or Torp Recovery or some other custom recovery installed. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're currently going to reboot this device into recovery. And once you boot into recovery and recovery fully boots up and the device reconnects to your computer, you're going to see this. We're going to run ADB uh, devices again. And it's, it's just about finished booting up on the device. And it will hit that. So not yet. It's still trying to connect up. So you can spam again by just hitting up arrow. You just keep spamming it until we connect. 
So now you can see we're connected. Here's a number, and then it says recovery, not ADB or devices. So, so we can run down here. We can do this, which is awesome. So we're going to do ADB shell. Now I don't know if you can see this. It looks kind of gibberishy, but there's a little pound sign. So you don't have to, as long as you're booting twerp, you have a root shell instantly. So now we can do um, our ls commands. But this one's a little bit difficult because in here you have to um, write your commands and if you mess them up, you just have to hit enter and try them again because you can't backspace commands in twerp, which is a little annoying. So ls minus al, just make sure you type things carefully. So again, here's, here's a root shell and we can do whatever we want in here. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, it's a lot of neat stuff. Um, let me see what else I can show you guys quickly. Actually, here you go, here's right here. See this charger? It's forwarding to Espen Health D, right? So you can see some of that. Um, obviously, we can go to the SD card, so SD card. We'll, we're gonna, oh yeah, see that? I mess up, so you can't go back. So hit just hit enter. So CD, SD card, and then LS. Here's your list of files in the CD or SD card. We can also do um, AL just so you can see it. So let's say you want something off the SD card, um, something simple. Let's see what we can find. Let's go to CD downloads. Oh, see, I keep messing up. CD downloads. Oh, it's actually CD download. There we go. All right, so what do I got in here? What do I got? I've got a couple of PDFs. I've got a, oh, there we go. Me, twerp, twerp F. Okay, so I've got this file right here, right? Right there, that's an APK. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and highlight it, come up here, do edit, copy. All right, and we're gonna pull that from the device, okay? So um, to do that, Let's uh, let's do this. So let's go exit. And then we're gonna do adb pull sd card slash download slash paste in the copied uh, application we want to pull and hit enter. And that just pulled that application. And actually, you can see it over here, right here. I just pulled it right into platform tool. There's the app. So you can pull files by doing this. The other thing you can do if you want to check this, this is kind of cool, we can also push files. So adb push, and then we're gonna just drag the file we want to push, there you go. And then hit space SD card, and hit enter. So now we're pushing that file to the SD card. Now let's go look and make sure it's there. So CD, or adb shell, CD SD card, ls and then there it is right there there's the file we just pushed it back over so maybe you need to push backup files something you want to restore you can push things push and pull files in adb um so really adb is just like it just kind of does an end we can also this file is here right but it's also still in um downloads over here so we could still cd to download and ls it and still see that that file is still right there as well with inside of uh, downloads. Oh, I didn't CD to download correctly. Let's try it again. CD, oh, CD, download. If I can spell correctly, there we go. All right, so yeah, right there, there it is. So you can see it's in it's in two locations because we put we pulled it and then we pushed it back to a new 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 location on the device on the SD card. Now, there's, with root access, you should be able to push to basically anywhere on the device, but one of the good places to push to um, and pull files from is data local temp. So let's let's uh, CD out of this. We'll go back out of that again. So LS back here. So we can CD to data slash local slash TMP, enter. Oh, it's not liking it. Let's try it again data, let's do cd to data, cd to local, that's good, cd to tmp, all right, I don't know why it didn't work the first time, so I did an ls right in here, and there's nothing, so ls minus al, so yeah, there's basically nothing in there, there's nothing that you can really do, 
but we can push things to that as well. Um, a lot of times root exploits will actually push files to data local temp just because it's a place that we know we can push anything. Even if you don't have an SD card or it's full or whatever, data local temp is de generally um, a place we can push files to on a device. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I think if you look through the log and you, you kind of look at some of these commands, you can see some of the cool things you can do, obviously, with um, ADB. So I'm also going to do um, ADB reboot device just to de reboot the device um, out of uh, recovery. And it'll boot back up. And basically, that's it. We're, we're booting it back up, and we can keep moving on. So I hope you guys kind of like this advanced feel here of ADB, understanding how to maneuver um, folders, how to cat files, how to ADB push pull. Um, there's just a lot you can do. The last thing I would tell you guys that's really cool is if you come into here and you just want to know how to do something, it's really simple. Just do a Google search. I mean, you could do like um, ADB, uh, I don't know, delete file command right i mean if you do a quick little search like this you'll find things um that are just really simple to to follow along what i like is um to use stack overflow this one is a, is a good one so here you go so type adb cd to sd card rm dir and then directory name and it'll delete a directory right so this is very very helpful to um just do a quick google search for what you're trying to do and, and Stack Overflow is definitely a good source. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I know this has been a long video. I hope you have enjoyed it, though, and uh, learned a little something more about ADB and ADB Shell. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.